even more Tekken 8 customization has been revealed. Now, technically, I may be a little bit behind on this, but the other day I was on the Japanese website for Tekken 8. Again, something I did not know is that the Japanese website is different from the American website. But on the Japanese website for the game, there are different sections that you can go into. One for game modes, one for characters, one for customization. So I decided to explore it, and I was not disappointed, because I saw these really cool images of Reyna and King being customized. You can let me know in the comments down below if you've seen these images already, but this is new to me, so I want to go over them. So first one here, we got Reyna being customized with headphones and ears. I can guarantee that the ears are going to be a popular accessory. And these look a little bit bigger than the ones we saw in Nina in that first trailer showing off the character customization for this game. But another cool thing here is if you move on to the next image, we can see where it shows off the sections, there's a little highlighted circle. Now I'm assuming that happens when you get a new customization option for that character. And honestly, I really like this outfit for Reyna. This is what should have been her preset for, in my opinion. Minus the cat ears and the headphones, obviously. It's a more modern look, without making her look like a 40-year-old soccer mom. 40-year-old soccer moms, please do not take offense. But then we get another in-depth look for the shoes here, which in my opinion, I think are going to be the most customizable accessory for your character in the game. I mean, just look at this one shoe. It has five different customizable color slots, and there's an arrow indicating that there might be even more. My only wish is that Tekken 8 would do the same thing with gloves. Now, I get that it's not as easy to do gloves as it is shoes, but please, please Tekken 8 do gloves. In my opinion, that would like completely satisfy me and I'd be fine with customization at that point. And while yes, this still does not live up to Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2's customization, in my previous video talking about the character customization, I kinda explained why we will most likely never get customization like that again. So feel free to go check that out. In this next image, we have King. Look at this absolute Chad. Dude's going on vacation. He's got the Hawaiian shirt. And he's got two accessories here that I want to talk about. First off, the necklace and then some wristband or something. But gosh dang, does he make that Hawaiian shirt look good. This right here is probably the most interesting image because I don't believe you could do this in Tekken 7. But look at all these options for adjusting an accessory. And this is what makes it work for every character is that you can adjust the size. Because in Tekken 7, we had to deal with clothes that didn't really fit on characters because they had just one generic size. So being able to adjust accessories is a really nice touch. You got the overall size that you can mess with, not to mention you can choose which arm you want to equip it to. Or you can get specific with the front, the back width, moving up, moving it down, left, right, rotating it, tilting it. So it's really nice seeing some of these details for the customization. And look at these Adidas this man is rocking. Again, I'm calling it right now. Shoes are going to be the most customizable accessory that your character has. And what I really love is not only do you get your customized character's image on the character select screen, but when you click on them, they show up. A lot of people said that Soul Calibur did this and that Tekken 6 did it. And that's great, but Tekken 7 didn't. And a lot of people were introduced to the series with that game. So the fact that this game is doing it is awesome. And once you're done customizing your characters, you can put them in the fight. With Reyna here sitting on her comfy looking throne and King showing off to the people. One other thing I wanted to go over real quick is this image of Devil Jin. And I think it's really cool here how we can see him with his shirt off. And look at his arms. I might be wrong, but I don't remember that in previous Tekken games. That seems like a pretty big change for them to make design-wise for just this game though. Also, some of these shirt choices are really cool. But if you look at the second row, you can see these fighting geese. And the white gi, it looks like has gloves, but the blue gi doesn't. And then a lot of the shirts down below don't include gloves either. And this is why I talked about it earlier, how I wish that Tekken 8 had a separate section for gloves. Is it possible to be put in the game in a future update? Maybe, but I highly doubt it, unfortunately. Customization in this game is gonna be so much fun. And as you guys know, character customization isn't the only type of customization that we're gonna be getting, because there's also avatar customization. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of horrifying. Being able to change your avatar's skin to this color, I don't know how to feel about it. And not only that, but we're also getting the player customization, where you can really customize your Tekken experience to your own preference. With changing the life bar, getting tags, we got a sneak peek into this with the closed beta test and there are so many options with this thing and i know i've covered some of this stuff before but i am just super excited for this game to come out guys so if you are excited as i am let me know in the comments down below as always thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed to the channel please do consider it i'll keep you up to date with everything tekken 8 and i also stream every tuesday and saturday if you want to join my discord the link will be in the description down below but that'll do it for me this video thanks again for watching and you'll see me next time